this is Anna from JustPate.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a ghoulish zombie nightmare makeover. <gasps> I'm using all the paint from my wonderful wicked basement store, JustPate.com. <sighs> Hello, I'm doing a ghoulish zombie makeover. On one side of my face, I've applied a disgusting yellowish, orangish, white base. You can get this color if you mix uh, yellow, golden yellow with white. If you mix yellow with white, you mix orange with white. And over here I'm putting a diamond effect, just pure white base. So see two different zombie looks. Yeah. Now I'm going to use a little bit of red mixed with some black. Kind of mix up a bunch of growth colors. You can use purple, brown, bronze, and um, then I'm going to take a darker brown, and maybe even a little black, and I'm just getting my sponge just a little bit wet, so I don't have a huge solid pile of paint coming into my face. It's just kind of splotchy. And then I'm going to use this brownish blackish to define my cheekbone over here. And I had kind of a reddish brown over here. I'm going to define my cheekbone too. And you want to like kind of pull the bones up and stuff and make them look real pointy and no gross because when you're a zombie, you start to decompose. Then you're going to sink in your temples just by putting that dark shade over there and over there. And the temples are those nice caved in parts of your head. And when you get old and zombie-like, or oh, oh, in the hollows of my face, in the hollows of my face, oh, hollow. And then, you just darken this eye over here. And when you do your zombie, you just do it real ratty, catty, grody, moody, because you don't want anything to look nice. So you can take some of your brown and just kind of splatter it around too and get your face looking dirty. You just don't want to put a big, really dark brown spot somewhere, otherwise it's going to look like a hole in the face that you might not want to hold. So just really light padding of dirty nastiness. Then you can take some red. Uh-oh, forgot my red upstairs. I'm going to use this that I have left on my sponge. And then I'm putting some Everywhere. You can use metallic fuchsia, red, um, you can use red mixed with some black to get real nasty blood. Then you can take your brown and also if you want to take some delicious black, you can make a brownish black and you can start giving yourself some cracks. You're just making lots of little wrinkles under the eye, around this way, and then you make the cracks like crow's feet come out that way. And then you can go in through these darker spots and just kind of put some jaggedy, I'm just kind of rubbing the side of my brush around on my face. And then you can pull down some lines out of there. It's kind of like doing a skull without the bones. Oop. There, I'm just giving myself a nasty jawbone shadow, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm just going to crudify my jaw, get some black, and define it. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? All right, now I can give myself a little tiny fuzzy eyebrows if I want to. Zombies don't have to have eyebrows. And then on these parts where there are these bones sticking out of my face, protruding out of my face. I'm going to take a little brownish black and put some wrinkles on the edges of the skin that's kind of like gooping around the bone. So in order to do it, I'm just kind of outlining the hollow spot and then pulling in some cracks. Outlining the hollow spot, pulling in some cracks. See the little cracky doos? And then over here, you can make a dark line even and pull in some cracks. And then just kind of shade that out. Start shadowing the forehead. On the nose, you can make a 
rotten bot where the nose is decaying and falling off. And then you can put some scary wrinkles coming out from around the eye like this. And now, on this rotten side of the face, I'm just going to put some beautiful teeth. They could be white. They could be green. I'm just pressing Ew, my brush around the eye. Yeah. So this guy over here, he's looking a little boring. He's like sea green, some kind of blue color, and then put little tiny veins around, just random little spots where veins are going to be breaking off, and this can make like a transparent skin. On this side, you can take more of a redder vein and put it on the rotten skin over here if you want to. Whoa, or you could put some blue veins too. It's always good to stick a lot of blood up your nose and have it coming down and maybe even jam some black up your nose. We're going to marriage counseling today for getting married in the church in Argentina and I'm telling you they're going to love this look when we go there really quick. All right, all right, and so this is one kind of decaying zombie face. If you want to make everything pop out just enough, you can just add some white highlights, get your sponge a little bit wet, and kind of stipple some white highlights on the bone that are supposed to really be sticking out, the cheekbone, the brow bone, this little bone that goes around the temple and around the edges of the jaw. And then, if you want to, you can add more definition around the teeth. But, this side is pretty disgusting. This side needs a little bit more work. But I think you get the idea of how gross it can be. Should we go any further? Great! Next stage, I'm going to outline my teeth. I'm just going to put some little black cracks. That's right, I said black cracks right between my teeth, oh, or next to them, or on top of them, or something like that, and a little bit more black definition here to make this growth, and there, and there, and there, and then if you want, you can put some little scraggly lines around the red, where your skin is rotting away, and you can pull it out a little bit, too, so the skin is looking like it's just creeping backwards. I don't really have a great view of the mirror, but I think I'm getting a slightly creepy effect. Ooh, gross. Oh, this is just rotting, pulling, rotting, pulling skin. Oh, I'm making it a little white there. And then maybe I'm just going to put some red guts around my eye pocket to make my eye look a little red and bloody. Bleah, bleah. So, oh, let me put that red around this side of my eye, too. Oh, and it's like bleeding, dripping blood. <gasps> All right, guys, thanks for watching this gross, disgusting zombie nightmare. I hope that you have a good Halloween and paint a lot of faces and go crazy from JustPaint.com. <laughs>